Long ago, when the line between good and evil was clearly drawn, twin brothers faced each other in battle. Good was triumphant, and the knight buried his brother. Now, a thousand years later, the struggle continues. Carefully, girls, in the finest tradition of the service. Now, which of you knows how to plug in a microphone? Little nimble fingers, aren't we? <laughs> oh, Zach. What's eating you? Haven't you seen electricians before? They're assembling my karaoke machine. Time to go, sweetie. He's in the city. My twin? Yes. I'm impressed by what mysteries did you compute that? One of our people saw him. How magical. <laughs> The car's here, Matthias, is arranged. My tell director mustn't stay in the city too long. Why not, Matthias? Tell him to go to the landscape exhibition. Landscape exhibition? That could be dangerous, it's too public. I'll be extra careful. Now, what landscape exhibition? Landscapes, paintings. Somewhere, I don't know. Find them. It may give you a clue to your brother's grave. It's a long shot, but I seem to be running on those these days. Her director shouldn't linger in the city. All right. Stay in touch.
You always have to mean trouble. Couldn't we just meet sometimes for a drink? Message received and understood. I thought I'd pop in out of the rain. This is raining. Well, if you're going to get technical on me, two can play at that game. You are in no condition to drive. Correction, I, I have to drive. I'm in no condition to walk. Ah, oh, we seem to have left the bottle. You finished the bottle. Oh, there's always a tiny snack. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Let's look on the bright side of things. You are walking better, and you're not paralyzed from the waist down. I could, I could have sworn I was. No, it was just your brain that had lost its legs. It's a potent mixture, wine and tears. What were you doing sitting in that car? Well, I was uh, listening to those nose beams. You know the message from deep space? There are creatures beyond the farthest galaxy who send messages down their noses. And here on Earth, only the very sensitive can receive them. And if you are very sensitive, and you do receive them, what do these nose beams say? They say that life is much overrated. And that's it. That's the message from deep space. Well, it has the authentic flavor. Don't you think? This isn't brandy. No, it's not brandy. You know I'm in trouble. You've got some kind of psychic gift. That's what drew you to me. Help me. To do what? To find her. A woman who's terrified. You see? I was right. You do have the gift. That woman, Helga, she's my daughter. And he's trying to kill her. Who? Eric, her ex-husband. I have to find her. You don't know where she is, your daughter? No, she's in hiding. That's how her life is. She has to keep moving and hiding, and now I think he's found her again. So I have to warn her. How long is it since you've eaten? I have no memory for trivia. The way you drink, you'll soon have no memory. A desirable condition. Is this for real about your daughter? Listen, entirely. I have to find her. In a bottle. I've looked everywhere else. Where does she work? In office supplies. She used to be a nurse, but she had to leave. So where's the office? She's not there, extended leave. And they won't even tell me where, and I'm her father. You know I hate details, Beatrice. You organize this, get our people out in the streets. I want him. I want him watched, I want to be there when he finds my grave. He can't remember where it is. 
Well, if he can't, who the hell can? He put me in the damn thing. It's in his memory somewhere. I'll winkle it out of him, even if it takes a lobotomy. Why do you need it? You've got enough powers. Do I detect a note of fear? Find him. Meanwhile, you'll be playing with your karaoke machine. Rank has its privileges, Beatrice. Now listen to me, listen to me carefully. Your orders are not just to find him, but having found him, to leave him dead. Am I making myself clear? I don't care how you do it, but dead. In case you might be missing the importance of this errand, I'm classifying this operation as Code 1. Code 1? Full penalty for failure? Correct. We are going to lose some people. Yes. But it so encourages the others, don't you find? Get me some leverage on these office suppliers, Matthias. They must know where she lives. Oh, I don't know, buy the company or something. That's a joke, Matthias. And uh, one more thing, said Godbold to me. He was right about the landscapes. Yeah, I'm starting to get a vague impression of my brother's gravesite. No, 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 I'm being careful. I'm in no danger, Matthias. Bye. Mr. Bauer. Oh, yes. My uh, assistant, Matthias, oh. yeah? Oh, yeah, I have something for you. Great. This she could be. Yeah. Right. No, no, it all right. Failed. Code one.
director says he's not in danger. He's in trouble, though. Why is he involved with some woman? He's not involved with some woman. She's in danger. It's dodgy. I've been that route. Cancel that last message when I said I wasn't in danger. They're onto me. We must get you out of the city. I can't leave the city until I've sorted out Brant's problem. Bad move. Is it raining outside? Was where I've been. Get in, I think we found her. Stay in the car, I'll check. Helga? Uh, yes? You don't know me, but... I have your father in the car. My father's dead. Is this some kind of joke? You are the Helga that was married to Eric. It was. I still am. And if your father's dead, who do I have in the car? <sighs> Not again. You brought him here and you won't leave me alone anymore, Harry! <laughs> Didn't I tell you she was lovely, my Helga? <laughs> Get back in the car. <laughs> How long have you had this? <laughs> He always finds us. Never stops. It seems like forever. I... I used to be a nurse. He was my patient. I was kind to him, that's all. And he's obsessed with me. <laughs> helping you got it wrong you point him out to me what do we do in your day when we got it wrong That's it? End of lesson? Some things never change. Popular little spot, isn't it? I like it. Everybody believed in those days. We don't have the same certainties. Good is still good and evil is still evil. Those things never change. I'm beginning to learn that the trick is in recognizing which is which. <laughs> Nobody said it would be easy. Thanks. You liked Brandt? Yes, I did. 
That's why the knight pointed him to you. You should be miles away from here. But I have to undo what I've done. Zachary's people are in the city. They know you're here. You're walking into trouble. Yes, but if I am who you said I once was, if I am the knight, then isn't walking into trouble what I'm supposed to do? It's quite like old times, really. Except this isn't something I can mend with a sword. You're right. You know why Brant was given to you, don't you? Because he's worth saving. That's a very old-fashioned idea. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> so the Herr Director killed his twin a thousand years ago? Not before time. You were there? I was a priest. I may have given him the last rites, but I only see bits and pieces, never the whole thing. But you saw Zachary killed? I saw him buried. But you can't remember where? Only half impressions. And the grave? It's of importance, why? Because it holds the key. To what? To whatever evil it was Zachary was planning then. This is of importance? What Zachary was doing a thousand years ago? Whatever it was, he's planning it again. And if Adam finds the grave, he'll learn the extent of the evil he's facing once again. Turn left here. No, it's not this way. Losing your touch. You could help instead of being irritating. Don't put those things at me in anger. Oh, please. Straight on as we were. He was here. I can feel it. Take the next right. He was here, in that house. He was involved in some kind of scene with a woman there. A woman? What's he doing dallying with a woman? I wouldn't say dallying. Should I have not. He got the genes with all the uplift. I'm the twin that embraced puberty. I want him out of here and on his way. Let's put some of our people out there washing the house. since I've done this. Been back? Brent? No. No. Oh. 
Where's Helga? She's upstairs. Charlene. Where's the bathroom? Here. Helga, no, no! <laughs> I know you're listening, Helga. I know you're there. Helga, listen. Come on, Bran. This isn't your style. You usually play things for laughs. Give away. I don't want to have to harm you. Likewise. You are laboring under the illusion that my disease is curable. Well, let's take a whack at it. You think, you think I want to be like this? It hurts, you know? And the only end to it is death. Look, there you go again. You're getting dramatic again. Then we can't do this here in the middle of the road in front of an audience. Keep away! Look, I am going to help you whether you like it or not. Now, you've got two ways to go, my friend, quietly or otherwise. And so just... All right, otherwise. Let me down, hey! Let me down! Hey! What are you doing? Hey! Hey, no. Hey, don't do this! Never could all these drink. is what I say we need. I'll decide when he dies. And I'll find something unpleasant for you, my sweet little immortal. If you don't get that ancient but still tight derriere out onto the street and get that code one lifted. And if you ever do it again, I'll cause you pain. You think because you burned at the stake a couple of times you know pain? Think I won't do it because we make whoopee once in a while. You do it. I've no doubt about that. You do it. This is going to be a lot bumpier than intended. Hang in there in the back, Brent. Sorry, boys. Code one's a no-no. This is our Mr. Brandt. He's a little shaken up. He needs something to calm him. We need to talk with him, and he needs to be in the mood to listen to reason. Oh, I feel sick. I... There's a lesson for you. Keener than the pangs of love is the urge to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't still be in the city. They know you are here. I noticed that. Well? Well, I remember as much as you do. 
You remember this pillar here? Yeah, somewhere. Where the devil is it? It could be anywhere. Well, wherever it is, I have to find it, don't I? And I have to sort out Mr. Brand's problem. Grant, my demented friend, you're in the grip of something we have to rid you of. There was a time we would have said you have a demon in you. This is Godbold, my spiritual advisor, part-time wrestler, visionary, and formidable eater. Author of holiness is not necessarily fattening. An interesting man. He's going to wrestle for your soul. Nothing tricky. Best of two falls. Anyway, it's worth a bruise or two to pluck you back from hell. Go for Helga. Call the police. Tell them to get there quick. I'll try to be faster. Is he there? There's no one there. Come on. Try to sleep. I don't want to leave this place. I don't want to have to move again. We won't move. I promise. He'll haunt us until I'm dead. No. No. What was that? Nothing. Houses make noise all the time. He's there. He is not there. All right, I'll, I'll go and check if you like. No! You won't rest until I do. Wake up. Wake up. Uh, 
It's all right. You're in the clinic. None of that happened. It's only what you had in mind to happen. But I killed you. I saw it too. You committed murder in your heart. You are in the gravest spiritual danger. But now you get a second chance. You're a lucky man, Brand. You get the chance to put the clock back. Now you've got a lot to think about. I'll leave you to it. I don't know, it was, it was bare, it was bleak. He's gone. Brad? Yes. How long ago? Not long, it can't have been. Damn, I thought you were winning, I thought we were getting through to him. We did what we could. I know how it feels. It's not the first soul I've lost. brother's just arrived at the girl's house. That girl's got to go. I'm sick of her wasting his time. He came through. I don't know who you are, but... I'm not so sure who I am either. Let me kill her. I'll do it. You did the last one. Look, there's nothing personal about this, Beatrice. It's just a slight inconvenience. Sure you did the last one. If you're going to sit there and sulk, we've got two men in a car outside a house. Why don't we just let the help do it? I don't think we need the woman who lives in that house. Yes. Well, I guess this should be a toast. So, to you, Brant. Happy like tea, because I think you're going to be drinking a lot of it. <laughs> Peaceful. 
No place for a killing. Low on staff. Did you have to kill them? I think silence is golden, don't you? Do you think they'd have talked? Probably not. Then you know what an old worry boot I am. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Given time, I think we would have been friends. Where are you going to go now? I'm not quite sure. You are searching for something, aren't you? I guess I am. Well, just remember the snow beams. Good idea. <laughs> I work for you. Another Wednesday night thriller over on the movie channel at 10 past 10 stars Andy Garcia and Uma Thurman in the eerie psychological chiller Jennifer 8. Here on Sky One next, The Holodeck provides more than its fair share of thrills aboard the Enterprise.